When it comes to drawing the alignment in AutoCAD, we have two different methods, a new one and an old one. And I'm going to show you both, so we will start with the new one. <coughs> Before we start to draw, it's important to know which scale we want our drawing to be. And in your case, you will have to draw two different uh, center lines, because you need one for your overall plan, in the scale 1 to 5000 and you need one in your road plans 1 to 2000 but first of all the 1 to 5000 so set your drawing scale to 1 to 5000 this will make the letters and the information come out in the right size so that it looks right in the drawing <coughs> the drawing you will find in draw horizontal alignment draw horizontal alignment. This is the new method. And you can see down here we have some different drawing configurations. If we scroll we can see there's a lot of them. And <coughs> the one called Draline 4 uh, already has some information applied. If you want to change the setup of these you can go into this one then you will be able to change all the different uh, values on this specific alignment style. If we look at Darlene 4, it consists of alignment, tick mark, tick mark, change text, segment parameters, meaning the information about radius, flag mark, and element parameters. And we can change all of them. <coughs> Let's just take an example. Let's take tick mark. You can see that it is a line. It's going to be applied for each 10 meters and that's probably a bit too much when we're talking the scale 1 to 5000 so let's change this into for each 100 meters like that. If we look at the change text We can see <coughs> that it is a blue color. It's five millimeter text size. I would like to make this a bit smaller, so I choose ISO 35, like that. And if we look at tick mark along the alignment, the one used for the change text. we can see that the size of it is 5. This is probably also a bit too much. I'll change it to 3 meters. And back to the change text. I'll need to change the height as well to the 3.5. So. And <coughs> whenever I uh, feel that I'm done with my uh, changes, I will save it as my own style. This way I will be able to choose it and I'll be able to change it uh, whenever I want to. without destroying the preset styles. So it's saved and I will close this window and I should now be able to find, well it already found it, <coughs> my alignment style 1 to 5000 here. Then I need to draw my center line so I will retrieve it from the database the same uh, symbol as in alignment design find my road, press OK, and then draw. And you can now see my alignment has been drawn with the style that I have changed and chosen. It looks still to be a bit dense, um, too many change, 
too big change its text but I can always delete it and go into road draw draw choose my style and then go and change it for example I need to have my chainage only for each 500 meters I would like to change my um, my my um, element data size and make it smaller 1.8 this was that part of it and I need to do the same with the other parts like this and like this like so I don't want the circle uh, here in my element breakpoints so I'll just set the circle radius to zero. I think my line is a bit too long. So I will see if I can change this. a lot of different things to change so it's probably this one yeah I got my values closer when I'm done save close, choose the alignment and draw and this is much better when I click at my alignment you can see it chooses all the elements so <coughs> I have a hard time moving single parts of the alignment drawing but if I press Control H. You can see down here in the corner that my pick style changes from 1 to 0 and they will now be single elements. I can move this one and then if I press Control H again the pick style changes from 0 to 1 and it's all grouped back together. Easily deleted and you can always delete it from the drawing it won't have any effect on uh, the fact that the alignment is still inside the database you can retrieve it whenever you want to <coughs>